I've been asked uh, what all the, uh, what everything does in a, a, a clock. And this is our rosemary clock. This is in fact the very first one uh, that I made, or designed and made. Uh, made it for my wife's 50th birthday, which was quite a while ago. Um, uh, so uh, perhaps a good way to do, uh, 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 the best way to show you is, well, to strip, it's, it's ready for a service. So uh, the best way to do it is probably to strip it down and show you, show you all the parts. So uh, the first one is the pendulum, pendulum rod. Now, now this is made of, this is one millimeter diameter. It's made of invar, uh, which is a low coefficient of thermal expansion. It's hooked onto a, it's, 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 a, well, it's supposed to be a silk suspension, but it's actually, it's actually a fishing line. <laughs> uh, so it's hooked onto a, a, a silk suspension. And, uh, and you have this little sleeve here. <laughs> this is actually uh, two sleeves. <laughs> Because <laughs> this was the very first one. Obviously, the first one wasn't long enough. Uh, so we've got a sleeve here which has two flats on it, and that fits into the crutch, which is at the back of the at the back of the clock. So you can see here. There's a, like a this bit here. This is called the crutch, uh, and this uh, is connected to the pallet. Uh, the pallet's here. Uh, and this is what, when the power's on the clock, this is what impulses the pendulum. So from from this pallet and escape wheel, you get a little impulse and it gives the pendulum a little kick and that's what keeps it going. So that's the first bit. Uh, 